Nettles. Nettles has been my favorite herb for women for a very long time. I first got to know her when I was in college and I was looking for what can I eat that is growing wild. I figured that was going to be the best way for me to learn how to identify the wild plants and of course nettles is very easy to identify because when you brush against her she'll sting ya. <laughs> this is stinging nettles but when you cook the nettles she loses her sting and I found a patch near my house that was incredibly abundant and I would go harvest for soup and after the first couple times my body was like more 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 I loved the nettles just felt so hungry for that green velvety nourishment it was only years later after I had apprenticed with Susan Weed that I learned intellectually why nettles is so good for us and so deeply nourishing, especially for women as a potent medicinal and in one of those places in the wise woman tradition where the lines between food and medicine blur and our food becomes our medicine. So the nettles is easy to identify, of course, because if you brush against her, she'll sting you. However, you can actually learn to touch nettles in a way that minimizes the chance of getting stung. If you pet her away from the center of the plant, so the stalk being the center, then the leaves, the way that the stinging hairs lay is alongside the leaves. So if you are like rubbing the cat the wrong way in toward the center of the plant, then she'll flip up the sack of formic acid onto your hand. It's the same stuff that's in ant stings. But if you smooth her stinging hairs away from the center of the plant, it actually neutralizes that. And this is one of the ways that I actually like to then harvest nettles. I don't have my gloves handy. So it's like a firm grasp and clipping the tender tops for your soup or stir fry. And all that sting goes away. And so when I came back from apprenticing with Susan and went back to that nettles patch to harvest, at that point it was actually. Um, the nettles were several feet high and it was time to harvest them for the um, drying to make infusions for over the winter and the rest of the year. And the nettles, when I was going to get the plants for my drying, they were talking to me and they were telling me, people want to know what you're doing. You gotta teach this. In our culture, both in mainstream and alternative, um, medicine today there's so much of this duality and like try to go for the white light and the spiritual and something out there and other than and in the wise woman tradition we're bringing our attention back to our bodies and to the depth of sacred experience and knowledge and inner wisdom that we as women have access to through our own learned experiences and I know that you know what I mean as a woman because you've lived and experienced some, some difficult, they're often difficult times through menstruation or maybe pregnancy or abortion, menopause. All of these are gateways that where our hormonal system actually helps us access our intuition and the depth of our knowledge and connection with ourselves, with women, with the earth, and the veils between the worlds thin and we're more connected with our own inner wisdom. So the nettles is a wonderful place to start and I'm gonna harvest some nettles for my soup here. Have some chickweed salad and Nettle spring soup. Doing it with gloves is always a good safe way to go as well.
we turn our attention inward to ourselves and with the wise woman tradition and to these abundant plants that are offering themselves freely and in great joy and great medicine from the earth all around us, we shift the lens, we shift our priorities, we shift our paradigm to one that is more reflective of our true wisdom as women. Don't get much, go, let all my hands go like it in a comedy.